Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. This is the Conquest of Azeroth server. We're playing Rage Wolf, our Son of Argul custom class. Level 15 so far. I'm pretty excited to play this guy again. We were just playing the Stormbringer. Um, so we're going to be finishing up some of these quests in this area. Hopefully hitting some around 20. Then maybe heading to Duskoid or something like that. Um, I don't know how much XP these quests will give us. Our quests are finally working again, so that's definitely nice. We have a lot in Stormwind to take care of. A um, couple of these guys. I know we just did these on our Stormbringer character. So let's see how let's see how much XP these will give us. If not, we'll just head right down to uh, Duskwood, start there. Or maybe even a couple quests in Westfall, see how that goes. So uh, we'll get a couple of these done and hopefully get some new abilities. Quite a few on this character. I know the other character really didn't have a lot, but this character is a lot more fun. So see how this one goes. Pretty excited to play him again. All right, boys, we're going over here. We're going to take out all these guys. I'll see how powerful this uh, this Worgen God guy is. Oh, we just got smacked. Let's see, let's slap this guy with a couple of our Blood Bolts. I had to actually take a few minutes to relearn this character. I haven't played him in a while. I've been about a week, but... Um, used to the uh, Stormbringer. This guy's a lot, a lot more versatile. Look at that. Just heals right up. Maintain my rage. I don't have to worry about um, my static at all. I'm sure the uh, Stormbringer gets a lot more powerful once he gets a little bit older. Not older, uh, a little bit higher level. Or even maybe in like boss scenarios. But this guy just goes one after the other back to back. Just destroys him. Makes it pretty fun to quest. Yeah, look at that. I haven't even lost any health. Finish this guy, probably run out of rage. Look at that, just in time. Always love the Worgen too. The Worgen's a lot of fun to play. One of my favorite uh favorite races. Alright, boys, we made it to 18 so far. We got one new ability, this lunge, basically a little jump. I wanna see if I can jump on this guy over here and uh tear him up a little bit, see how much how many we can kill. Let's see boys, we got like five of them, I think. Probably just keep lunging on them too. Oh, we pulled another one. Right, boys, we can do it. We just gotta spam the claw. I'm hoping to get another uh, Worgen ability soon. I think we will. Jump on him. Just jump back and forth, I guess. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. We're running out of uh, rage. Let's take him out, boys. We need to keep, uh, keep our rage up. Grab this guy real quick. And I'll hit this guy, hit that, hit that, and then right back in Worgen mode. Oh yeah. For last almost a whole minute in Worgen mode. Sweet. Finish him, and that's just this guy. Now we can just heal up a little bit. Grab our Blood Howl. Get a Rage built up. And this can be, what, six, seven people, I think? Nice. Yeah, that's six. Six guys. No problem. Look at that. We got a bunch of loot, too. Um, yeah, we got almost the whole quest complete. Halfway done already. Sweet. Um, yeah, so we're level 18 so far. These guys are scaling nicely, so that's definitely good to keep us going. The only thing is, I don't know how much the quests are going to scale, so this quest might not be giving us a lot of XP. Um, killing the monsters would do, though. Alright, and level 20, boys. Nice. We did unlock this new ability called Sh uh, Lupine Shred. Basically a little bit of a bleed. Um, AoE bleed, which is really nice. I was ripping some uh, gnolls with that. Um, just turning a couple of these quests in. Turn in level 20. Sweet. Alright, um, I'm going to go around and turn all these in real quick. I don't think I have any new abilities yet. Let's see. Alright, so we're over at here at uh, Razor Fan. We actually hopped into a dungeon. This I think this third boss. But this Worgen form is just insane. I was fighting uh, like 29, 30s as a 24 and just shredding right through them. The only thing that with that is sometimes don't hit them, but just the healing and the damage on this guy is nuts. Even in the mortal form with like the Shadow Moon Blast and everything like that, those are really strong because you can basically just kite around their uh, castle while moving. Ooh, that's a huge upgrade. I would love to get that. Um, so far, we haven't gotten anything too crazy. That polar would be nice if we could use it. Um, ooh, there we go. Some agility. I don't want no intellect. Another pole arm. Uh, I guess maybe I'll take that. But yeah, just insane damage, insane healing. 
Uh, there's not a lot of abilities yet. The only extra one we got so far was this teleport to Shadow Fang Keep. So I'm not sure if that's just to do the dungeon or if it's maybe like a hub there. But yeah, just a lot of damage on this guy. Sustainability is insane. You don't really have to worry about dying unless you get like stunned or feared. Or if your rage rares out. But like with the, the Blood Howl, you can sustain that very easily. And if you last in rage mode wrong, long enough, you'll actually reduce the cooldown on the warden form. So you can just basically keep going. It's like in these fights where there's a bunch of people. As long as you can keep going, you just never really lose out on the warden form. So I don't have to wait for mana to regen, I don't have to wait for you know my hunger, I'm not my hunger, my uh, my health to regen at all. I just literally just go ham. It's a lot of fun to play. Very fast paced. You don't have to sit around drinking after every fight like some of the other classes. You don't have to worry about setting up diseases or traps or turrets or anything like that. It's like right now I got like five seconds left. So I cast bolt and then I jump right back in. I don't have to worry about really waiting for my rage to go up because I gained so much in this form, especially in this dungeon. All you really gotta do is spam your claw and then hit him with a bleed a couple times. And then blood howl when you get lower on rage. But yeah, absolutely awesome class to play. Definitely want to play this guy a little bit more. I'm gonna run the rest of the way through this dungeon and see if we get any good loot. We got this band of the monkey, that's pretty good. Uh, it's garbage, garbage. I noticed, um, this character uses agility. I noticed whenever you get agility items, you get a huge buff in damage. Right, we got a big fight coming up. Let's go Wargan for him. And shred through him. This should give you some kind of movement impairing, uh, remover on this guy. We have this, uh mount form basically on my R at the bottom which is really nice because it's just instant cast and you run around when it kind of sucks is you can't hit it again to get out of mount form so like when you're a good attack you have to unmount so I made this little macro here to help out with that a little bit of a pain in the butt but definitely really nice uh, what else we got Ooh, uh, that's not good I thought that was agility that would be nice uh, we did get this hand axe that we want to put on let's take out this the last boss right here Go into uh, wolf mode. Probably can't see too much. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit better on his hut. And I need some kind of burst, too. I think burst would be cool. There we go, boys. Level 27. Um, nah, that's alright. We get dungeon spoils. Let's see what we get. Yeah, let's go agility. We got, ooh, some nice wrist bracers. Um, ooh, a dagger. We'll uh, equip that. Much better than our sword. We go and then we can put this helmet on 12 strength and 12 agility holy shit um that we'll put that on there and we got another dagger too let's put that instead of our sword i think yeah awesome sweet we're getting decked out so far we got the helmet tuscan helmet some nice gloves and wrists and two nice new weapons too thorn spike eight agility we also got this dungeon cache we can use this so kind of gear we get that's a two hand two hand Two hand dam. And ooh, Fenris is high. Nice. That was pretty good. Some Agi on there. Um, we have this axe, which not, five agility, that'll be nice once we get there. 29. Um, and then this attack power belt. That's gonna be pretty solid. We don't want that. Nothing else. Yeah, not too bad. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna leave out this dungeon then. Um, but yeah, we hit 27. I don't think we got any abilities yet so far. Let's double check. Uh, just as teleport so let's give this a shot see what this does i don't know if this is going to be like anything good or if it's just going to be like a filler or... i'm not sure let's find out all right so we teleported here to shadowfang keep oh, let's actually run in our organ form there we go um i don't know this is just the, to the entrance of the uh yeah it just takes me directly to the uh shadowfang keep for some reason huh okay a little bit strange maybe this is our origins Pretty cool, I guess. I thought there maybe be like some kind of like with the Shadow Moon one, you can like a train and stuff like that. But there's nothing really here that I can see. Uh, let's double check to make sure we have all our abilities trained up, though. Yeah, we get it. Ooh, Shadow Hemorrhage. Yep. We don't use that one very often, just because it's uh, a little bit slower. Nice bleed, though. Man, not too bad so far.
We're doing really good on this character. He's really strong, really powerful, really good on sustainability with healing and damage. A lot of fun to play too, being able to swap back in and out of working for him and even have some good abilities in mortal form. Um, so yeah, we're 27 so far. I'm going to pick it up right off the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for that and check out all the other classes we're going to be doing. Um, and if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and we'll catch you on the next one.